clock at the house, guys. So in today's conspiracy video, we're gonna be talking about Will Smith and the Oscars conspiracy. There's been so many speculations and rumors going around. Some people who are at the event, hairdressers, makeup artists, stand-ins, seat fillers, were saying that there was something weird about the atmosphere in the air, almost like a dark energy. So first thing is, Chris Rock makes a joke about Jada's alopecia at the Oscars. Will Smith smacks Chris Rock. The media goes nuts, publishing alopecia awareness into the mass consciousness. Pfizer happens to be bringing an alopecia drug to the market, and Pfizer happened to be sponsoring the Oscars. With that being said, I kind of feel like, was this all a hoax? Was this all a setup to make it seem that so Pfizer can drive more revenue with those suffering from alopecia? Will Smith got upset at Chris Rock for saying a inappropriate joke toward his wife. <laughs> oh, wow! Wow! Will Smith just smacked out of me. But the internet never forgets because there are clips circulating of Will Smith making inappropriate jokes about bald men. You can't do that in this world, man. Arsenio, they got rules. They got rules. Like, he has a rule. The big player, he got a rule. He got to wax his head every morning. That's a rule. He follows the rules, man. He follows the rules. Oh, these are jokes. Come on. <laughs> See, you got too into the characters and got hurt. <laughs> <laughs> so started an even huge debate that it was okay for Will Smith to joke about it then, but not now. Why didn't he give Chris Rock any mercy with this situation? Now, a G.I. Jane joke. Keep my wife's name out your f mouth. I'm going to. A lot of you guys in the comments have been saying in my DMs and messages that Jada Pinkett Smith is possessed by a demon. And with this video surveillance here from an angle no one's ever seen before, you can see her laughing when Will Smith hits Chris Rock. Most people have not seen. Look at Jada's reaction. Do you see that? Why would a woman laugh at the fact that her man is defending her unless she's possessed by a demon? Is Jada Pinkett Smith a succubus like some people think she is? All this to drive more views and clicks to her red table talk because Jada Pinkett Smith said that her and Will Smith will be addressing the Oscars on her Facebook TV show. Red Table Talk. Now, it has been confirmed as of today that the Oscars slap too violent for viewers that the FCC complains. With that being said, there's gonna be a massive fines for a slap being done on live air in front of millions of people to watch. Now, for those of you who are not caught up on the drama, if you curse out of turn without a beep, it is a several thousand dollar fine. So it's the same if you get up and hit someone. The Academy lied about asking him to leave, says sources. So apparently, the Oscars had said they asked Will Smith to leave, and Will Smith didn't leave. Well, according to TMZ, Academy lied about asking him to leave. Why would they lie? Is it a massive cover-up to fill the pockets of big pharma such as Pfizer? Was it a conspiracy to drive sales for the red table talk and views and clicks? Does Will Smith have a new movie coming out? Is Will Smith under the mental control over the succubus demon that is Jada Pinkett Smith? Like many people are speculating, leave your comments down below because this goes a lot deeper. We have video surveillance of actual ghosts and demons floating in the air to you, but we'll save that for the next video. Academy never considered forcibly removing actor after slap. It mind blows me that someone can get up in an audience 
and slap someone with no warning and not be removed. And I said this in my other video, if this was Kanye West getting up to slap Pete Davidson, so many people would feel differently about the situation. But because it's Will Smith and he's so well loved, it's almost like a double standard in this situation here. But I really want to know what you guys think about these conspiracies. People were saying that the slap was fake to begin with. There's this one photo that was able to grab. You can see they're like laughing. What's so interesting is we have a leaked audio of Chris Rock making his official statement since the slap. How was your weekend? <laughs> uh, I'm not, I don't have like a bunch of shit about what happened. So if you came to hear that, I'm not, I had like a whole show I wrote before. <laughs> this weekend <laughs> and I'm still kind of processing what happened like like I It seems like Chris Rock doesn't want to be involved and just wants to move on from the situation. But you can't just get on national TV, hit someone, Will Smith, make a public apology and just expect it to all go away. There's so many unanswered questions and I feel like social media and websites and blogs and things of that nature are really getting under Will Smith's skin the point that he got tired of the jokes that were being made about him so he got up and hit Chris Rock or was he under succubus demon mind control Jada Pinkett Smith there's so many questions that are being unanswered i feel in my opinion it's a mixture of both i have no i don't understand why will smith hasn't left jada after the many times that she has cheated on him and embarrassed him publicly and then for her to be laughing when he hit someone in her name and honor is so interesting to me but as always let me know what you think about all this drama in the comments down below and i'll see you guys in the next video very quickly, this video is sponsored the house by Vance Global. Definitely check them out. I'll put their Instagram and their links down below. You can use code RICHLUX for a discount. Delta 8 gummies, THC0 with 400 mg. All the information is listed on their website. Let's get on with this conspiracy.